Hi children, today we are going to learn 6th class, 5th chapter that is measures of lines and angles in the exercise 5.3. So in earlier videos we have learned in the exercise 5.1 and also 5.2. This is the last exercise of this chapter that is exercise 5.3. In this chapter we are going to be learn about perpendicular lines and parallel lines. Parallel lines and perpendicular perpendicular lines. Parallel lines means the lines which do not intersect anywhere and having same di distance between them. They are called as a parallel lines. So these two lines are parallel L and M. So, here line L and line M are known as the parallel lines. Here, we can symbolically we write L is parallel to M. L is, this is a parallel symbol, M. L is parallel to M. As we can see in our day-to-day -day life, the rods of windows and the, the trains, <coughs> tracks of trains is always parallel lines. So, the two lines which maintains the same distance between them they are called as a parallel lines and perpendicular lines if one line intersect the other line exactly with the angle of 90 degrees then they are called as a perpendicular lines suppose see that your line L intersecting the line M perpendicularly at the angle of 90 degrees then these two lines are called as a perpendicular line your line L is perpendicular to line M. This is perpendicular symbol. The reverse T is known as a perpendicular symbol. Your line L is perpendicular to M. Because these two lines are intersecting perpendicularly at the angle of 90 degrees. If two lines are intersecting each other at the angle of 90 degrees, they are known as a perpendicular lines. Based on only this concept, we have complete this 5.3 exercise. So, about parallel lines and perpendicular lines. So, let's go for the first question that is, okay, which of the following models for the parallel lines, perpendicular lines and which are the neither of them? So, here they have given, see that they have given in the first question, in the first question, the first one, here, <coughs> we have to identify in this models which of the parallel lines okay the vertical window bars the vertical window bars for window there is a vertical window bars will be there vertically these are the horizontal window bars so you take vertical window bars like this so these lines are known as the rods are, this is an example of parallel lines. So, the vertical window bars in the shape of parallel lines. So, railway lines, the railway tracks, the railway tracks are railway tracks. This is also example of parallel lies only. The third one, the adjacent edges of door, the adjacent edges of door, the adjacent edges of door, see the suppose it is a door, these two are known as adjacent sides, or these two are known as adjacent sides. They are perpendicular. The example of perpendicular. Then the fourth one, the letter V, English alphabet. The letter V, English alphabet. It is neither parallel line nor perpendicular line because it is not a perpendicular and it is not a parallel also. So, neither of them.
neither of them in the sims it is not a parallel line it is not a perpendicular line also the fifth one the opposite edges of blackboard opposite edges of blackboard the opposite edges will be always parallel lines i hope you understood the given models are in the shape of parallel lines or perpendicular lines or neither of them neither parallel lines nor perpendicular lines so here there are some more questions in this exercise 5.3 again second question trace and copy the set squares in the geometry box on a paper and mark the perpendicular edges so you know the set squares you will be seeing you know in your compass these are the set squares this are known as a the triangular shapes no these two are known as a set squares so one set square will be with the 45 degrees 45 degrees and 90 degrees the other set square will be 30 60 and 90 degrees so here we have to trace this on your notebook and draw the picture of this and say the perpendicular lines here it will be 90 degrees if you measure that these two lines are going to say perpendicular lines okay here if you give a name a b c here ab is perpendicular to ab is perpendicular to ac this is a one of the set square the other set square we have here one more set square let me take this so keep the set squares in your notebook and copy the the shape in your notebook and identify what are the perpendicular lines here what you can say the perpendicular line here also ab is perpendicular to bc ab is perpendicular to bc finished so we have done this is what we need to do it in your notebook so let's see the next one that is question number 3 question number 3 and this is the last question of this exercise so here there will be a figure A, B, C, and D. A, C, and B, D. Okay. Now here, A, B, C, D is a rectangle here. A, B, C, D is a rectangle. A, C, and B, D are diagonals. Write the pair of parallel lines in this. What are the parallel lines here? You have to write. parallel lines in this what are the parallel lines you need to write the b1 perpendicular lines perpendicular lines and also we have to write pair of intersecting lines pair of intersecting lines parallel lines what are the parallel lines here ab is parallel to dc opposite sides ab is parallel to cd and here ad is parallel to bc ad parallel symbol and bc okay perpendicular lines here see that this all rectangle in rectangle all the angles are 90 degrees only so every side is a perpendicular here AD here AD is perpendicular to AB AD is perpendicular to RDA you can write anything 
DA is perpendicular to AB. DA is perpendicular to AB. If AB is perpendicular to BC, and this BC is perpendicular to CD, perpendicular symbols, and CD is perpendicular to AD. AD and BD. So these are the perpendicular lines and a pair of intersecting lines. What are the intersecting lines? AC and BD. AC and BD are intersecting lines. They are intersecting at here. Suppose this is the point O. They are intersecting at O. So with this we have completed our exercise 5.3 of fifth chapter. So I hope you understood this chapter completely. Are not practice once again. The remaining videos also you see the exercise number 5.1 and 5.2 also, so that you can understand in more better way. Thank you for watching this video. 